efforts? Are you seeing any trends and are, how are you guys approaching it right now? Um, you know, uh, going through Twitter, you see some guys that are starting to put out uh, early official visit dates. So, you know, you we have, uh, hey, I have friends in the coaching profession and we talk and, uh, you know, everyone's pretty mum on what they're going to do in terms of are you going to use a spring official visit or, or aren't you. But now, uh, you know, the kids, they can't keep a secret. They want you to know that they're visiting the campus on, on this date. So, um, you know, as that, as that, as the signing date looms, I, I mean, I think, and this is the way it should be, it's not, but I think it's the way it should be. From August to December, every high school kid should be worried about winning the state championship. They shouldn't be worried about where am I going on Saturday in terms of recruiting. They should be trying to be the best high school senior, junior that they can be. Um, and, and, and so, but that signing day, putting it there, has now sped everything up because those kids that want to focus on their senior season, they have to get on campus now. Like they have to get on campus now. Um, you know, the one thing that I think is a benefit for us um, in terms of a selling point, um, because you know, college football, a lot of things can happen. A lot of, you know, coaches move around, a lot of things can happen. The landscape doesn't look the same in August as it will look in January of the next year. Um, you know, the kids that we're recruiting right now, um, one thing they can bank on is that it's, it's going to look the same around here, regardless of if you're coming here now, if you're saying you're committing to Iowa now, or if you're committing to Iowa in December, you can, I can guarantee you that we'll be here in January. So you looked at these early.